What is good guys, back in my World Cup Finals, US West is up 3-1 at the moment versus North East. So Black is playing for West, Aim is playing for uh, North East. And looking at these teams, I assume it's gonna be Mega Scissor, probably a win condition with SD. Uh, AV Tangers to help us opposing Gren. The Coco could be Z or the Trend could be Z. I'm thinking the Coco Z makes more sense and the Trend probably has leftovers because you have like no form of like Wish Pass or anything to keep the Trend healthy. So leftovers Trend makes a lot of sense. Uh, most likely rocks on the trend and then maybe spikes on Greninja. I think this is a Scarf Greninja for speed control. And then the Glisco could be two things. They could be SD or Defog. Um, probably a Defog variant because this team is relatively weak to... It's like pretty weak to spikes, yeah. So I'm thinking this has to be Defog. Because Defog Scissor is just not good. This should be SD. And on aim side, uh, Mega Mawile. It could be Scarf Gren, but it doesn't have to be Scarf Gren because he has like double priority and kind of a bulky backbone. Tangus is definitely going to be AV on aim side, I feel like. And then the Z move could be um, on the Zygat or on the Heatran, is what I'm thinking. But yeah, Chang Wang Greninja versus uh, Coco. Black should go into either the Scissor or the Heatran here to scout for Scarf Gunk Shot. That also covers a Scarf U turn. And if Aim is not Scarf, he's ne never gonna stay in here. If he's not Scarf, um, I feel like he has to switch out here into either Zygarde or Tangrowth. But yeah, if he's, he could also be Choice Scarf and not, um, he might not want to reveal that he's Choice Scarf and go for U-turn. So he could also, he could pull a double, um, depending on what he predicts here. If he predicts Black to go Scissor, he could double into Heatran. Or if he predicts him to go Heatran, he could double into Zygarde. Okay, so he goes Zygarde there. Um, that means he's most likely not Choice Scarf or he doesn't want to reveal it. And that also um, would have covered the Coco going for Volt Switch, I guess. And he, sh he shows to be Glare and I'm thinking this is Choice Bandit because Brofist um, has used a team with Bandit, Glare, Zyga before in World Cup and he's on the same team. So now this works out well for him. Now he has to switch out here into either Torn or Heatran. Um, he gets a full para there. Par nice Glare. Um, yeah, so like Zygarde pretty much was a fine play because if Black went into Tren, it would have caught that and it would have covered the Volt Switch and Black was never going to HP Ice there and if he went Scissor, he, he could glare it. But yeah, we, we don't know yet if the Scissor is SD Knockoff or SD U-Turn, but yeah, um, he gets a double full parade. that definitely sucks. I feel like he can, um, Aim can go for U-Turn here to just grab momentum. Uh, I don't think Black is going to stay in here. He's either going to go Coco or Heatran, most likely Tapu Coco. So I can just go U-Turn here um, and kind of scout out how um he wants to react to this torn if he goes coco i feel like like i feel like he wants to go to his z move user here that way in case aim goes for knockoff he doesn't lose the item so if he goes coco here i feel like that might confirm that he's z move coco if he goes trend that might confirm that he's z move trend like i said i'm thinking it's probably z coco and lefties on the trend so the, the trend is like um obviously the rock setter like rocks Glisco. well it could be rocks Glisco, but i'm thinking it's rocks trend and probably default Glisco. so this throw of a hurricane um, that's also a fine play, he gets some good chip on the Coco, and he gets the Confusion, the Confusion is a bit annoying for Blark because he, like, he might not want to risk hitting himself here, so he might potentially want to double out here. Tangrus is like the obvious play for aim, but um, he could also potentially um, predict Blark to go into Heatran and not wanting to hit himself. Blark roosts and aim stays in to go for knockoff okay so he either predicted him to go hard into heatran or he predicted him to u-turn into heatran i think and he wanted to knock off the leftovers but now the electric terrain is gone that was a risky play on aim but i can somewhat understand why he made that play i probably would not have made that play myself personally though but now he can probably live any hit from the coco um because there's no electric terrain but yeah now we know confirmed that it's team of coco because it just got knocked off and it didn't lose the item um, so this could be either Z Thunderbolt or Z Wild Charge, one of the two is what I'm thinking. Um, Roost was already revealed and then I have HP Ice and then either U-Turn or Volt Switch. Uh, yeah, pretty much something like that. Well, yeah, that would be like, if it's a special set, it would be like T-Bolt, HP Ice, Roost, U-Turn slash Volt Switch. Or if it's a physical set, it could be U-Turn, Wild Charge, Roost and then um, HP Ice or Taunt. So he does go for Voltage, doesn't hit himself, aim stays in, knowing he can live anything pretty much besides um, the Z move. And I don't think he was gonna, yeah, he wasn't gonna use the Z there with the tank in the back. I feel like aim um, probably clicked U turn here just to grab the momentum. And uh, what does Black go to here? Does he go to Heatran? I think he goes to Heatran, right? He goes to Scissor. 
um, which would have covered a knockoff. Okay, um, that makes some sense in case aim one for knockoff. But Uton was like pretty obvious there, so I feel like he could have gone trend. But yeah, um, that volt switch did absolutely nothing. So that means that this Coco is like either not either some bulky Coco or it's like mixed Coco maybe with like wild, sh wild charge and volt switch maybe uh, more like attack investment and Z wild charge because we know it's Z already. But yeah, Heatran has a few options here, right? He could. If he has like will or lava plume, I think you should go for that, trying to burn the Glisco because the Glisco might want to come out, and you want to try to burn it before the Glisco gets the Toxic Orb activated. Um, another option is just going for the rocks. But yeah, it's like kind of a tough turny for block. Like if you go hard Glisco and on a potential Whisper Plume, and you get that burn, that could be bad um, because it cripples the Glisco for the entire game, and the Glisco can be quite important in this game as it can check uh, a good amount on the Ames team and it can also help um, keep down the hazards if it's a defog variant, which I assume it's going to be a defog variant. Um, another potential play here is going into Greninja, uh, which should be able to live any one hit from Heatran. Uh, yeah, those are pretty much the two plays. I don't think you ever go into your own Heatran, unless you're really confident he's going to will always peer. But even then, next turn, it's a potential speed tie if you go to your own Heatran. So it's not worth it. I think it's either Glisco or Greninja here. If you feel if you fear this having like wisp or plume, then I think you go Gren. Even though if the Gren is Scarf, it would still be annoying for the Gren if it gets burned, because Scarf Ninja they um they run mixed sometimes. Like sometimes it's only U-turn as the physical move, but sometimes it's also gun shot. Okay, so let's go hard goal score. Aim just goes for rock, so he gets a toxic up activated. I assume aim didn't have wisp, otherwise I think he would have clicked it. In my opinion, he should have clicked it if he had it at least. But yeah, now we will potentially see if there's a default Glisco. Aim should switch out here into either the Torn or the Tangrowth. Um, Hard into Greninja is a potential play as well, predicting a default, but that's unnecessarily risky on a potential Earthquake. So I think um, Tang or Torn definitely should be uh, the play for Aim here. But yeah, we know that the Zygarde is most likely banned, so the Z-Move user is, has to be either the Greninja or the... Heatran is what I'm thinking. We know confirmed that the Tornadoes was a bulky variant, most likely a Rocky Helmet variant, because it took that Volt Switch so well from the Coco. So the Z move is either the Tren or the Gren. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to see which one. If it's Z move Tren, it could potentially snipe um, the Glisco later on in the game. But yeah, um, so he did go hard for Earthquake as Aim went Tangles, and the next turn he defogged. So Aim doubled back into Heatran there, anticipating most likely the Scissor to come out, but it didn't work out for him because Black just went for um, the Defog. And now Black reveals his uh, complete mo entire moveset pretty much. He revealed Defog, U turn, Earthquake. The last move has to be Roost, it's like really obvious. And so he U turns out into his Heatran. Um, I think Tangros might be able to um, live a Madness Storm here, but it's still not worth it to stay in for Aim. Um, I feel like he's gonna go Zygarde or Grin Greninja here. Like, Greninja can only switch in once, I think, to Magma Storm, but the secondary effect for Magma Storm, it should do like half to Greninja. And Zygarde, I think, takes like 20 to 25 for Magma Storm. So the Zygarde comes out, I think we're gonna see Magma Storm or Rocks. Magma Storm and it misses. Um, that's a bit annoying because he would have gotten good chip on the Zygarde. And I think now Black can go into his um, Gliscor here. Because he, he doesn't want to go into Tangros because he doesn't want to get glared on that. And his Scissor is already glared and could potentially get hexed down by the Zygarde. So I feel like Glisco is like the good mid ground here. And Aim has a few options. He could double into his Greninja or he could just throw off a thousand arrows. As he just goes for a thousand arrows and it yeah, has definitely banded the damage. And I think Blagel. Blagelfagel. I, I'm just going to say Blag because I don't want to mispronounce it. He's just going to roost here, is what I'm thinking. And Aim is either going to go hard into his Greninja. He could also go Tang or Torn. But I think Greninja is a fine option here because the Roost has to come out, kind of. Or he could also Thousand Arrows again, which would be kind of fishing for a crit and would also give him information if he's faster or slower than the Glisco. Um, Glisco, they always run more speed than Heatran, at least. Some Gliscors also run more speed than Zygarde. And some Glisco also run even more speed. I know he, Northeast sometimes runs, or like ABR when he make, makes a team of Brofist. They like ma run really, really fast Gliscors. Like, but we can see that the Gliscor is slower than the Zygarde, so I'm thinking it's only faster than Heatran and slower than Zygarde. Um, so that means it gets a little bit more bulk to run that it can put. It probably has like something, like a good amount in speed death, something in fizz death, which helps it um, check like Mega More World's play rough and choice bended um, Zygarde Thousand Arrows, stuff like that. So you he just roosts up, and I think Torn's just gonna hurricane here as he plays it safe and goes into Coco, and misses a hurricane there. And yeah, the Tangrowth is the safe play here, so I assume he's just gonna go Tangrowth. 
Zygote, the Zygote is unnecessary risky here, no potential uh, HPIs. So I feel like Tangles is gonna come out here and yeah, it's, this is a bit weird that this set is Volt Switch and it is, now that we see Wild Charge, I was just gonna say that it's most likely mixed because the Volt Switch did absolutely nothing to the Tornadoes earlier in the game. I know there was no electric turn, but it still did nothing, so I figured it would be mixed. So aim doubles out on the Zygarde there, um, which would have covered the Coco going for Volt Switch on the Tangros. But yeah, the Scissor comes out, and now we're gonna potentially see if the Scissor stays in here, if it's a U turn or knockoff variant. Um, because yeah, aim just goes for 1000 arrows. I figured I was gonna say aim is either gonna 1000 arrows or switch out. He could have also switched out into his um, Torn there. Or if he seen with Tren, he could have also gone Tren. But yeah, he... Since I was able to knock off the Choice Band, which is kind of cool for Black, but he gets full para there, he most likely roosted. That's definitely annoying full para. Um, so the Lisco is going to come out here. Aim just gets up the rocks, so Black is just going to defog again here, it's pretty obvious. Uh, Aim shouldn't risk his Heatran, he should just switch out into Torn or Tangrowth. Let's go into Tangrowth. And now, um, I don't know if Black's going to U-turn again, I assume he's just going to U-turn again. Aim doubles back into Torn, uh, so... That gets some chip on the, I think 16% chip damage with the Rocky Helmet. This might actually put Glisco in range from Z-Move Heatran. Um, either Z Inferno Overdrive or Z Corkscrew Crash could potentially snipe the Glisco uh, later on in the game when he gets the Heatran in on like the Scissor or something or on the Tangrowth. So um, Blago has to watch out for that potentially. So he goes, Aim just plays it safe, goes Tangrowth again. And Black HP Ice is there in case Aim wanted to go Zygarde and block the Volt Switch. But I feel like going Tangrowth was completely fine. And now Black can just Volt Switch uh, into his Scissor, I think. Yeah. Does Aim just Earthquake? Yeah, he does just Earthquake. That does the most to the Scissor if he doesn't have HP Fire and it also would catch a potential Heatran. So Black is uh, probably gonna try to roost here and hoping to not get paralyzed as Aim plays at save and goes on Heatran. And now this is kind of a 50 50 because I'm thinking at this point this might be Z move Heatran. Well, unless the Gren is Z move, but this makes definitely sense to be Z. Um, There's a 50 50 between going for Z move to catch the Glisco and between going or going for off power to catch the Heatran. Um, this, turn, this turn plays a huge role for sure here. Um, Black might want to go into his Greninja because that could live a off power, but he does go on Heatran anticipating Z move. Aim goes for the Z move. Corks could crash. Black reads that. That would have covered Inferno Overdrive and Corkscrew Crash. Pretty good play on his part, and now he can just go into his Gliss score because you don't want to risk um, dying to uh, Earth Power here in case Aim stays in. Uh, even though that might have been Modest Heatran, because I know um, ABR, there's a team that ABR made that is on samples that is Modest Heatran with Corkscrew Crash. Okay, I had to see it real quick, but we're back now. So, um, I think he went into Tangros instead of U-turning with the Gliscor versus the Zygarde because he maybe didn't want to take Rocky Helmet damage. And yeah, Aim is most likely just gonna uh, switch out back into Tangros on the uh, Coco. Yeah, just just to save Volt Switch into Scizor. And now, Scizor is most likely just gonna knock off and Aim can just go Heatran here. We already know it's Zemo Heatran, so it's not gonna take much from knockoff. And yeah, the... Glisco is obviously going to come out here. Glisco is always going to come out on the Heatran now that the Z move is used up. And now Black should just go either Tangrowth or um, Greninja here to scout the Greninja set. I think most likely Tangrowth. But yeah, let's go into Gren, okay. And Aim just gets up a spike there predicting a switch. So good play on Aim's part. Now Aim has to decide what he wants to go to to scout out this Greninja set. Uh, he could go into his Torn ta or Tangrowth. But yeah, I'm thinking this is most likely a choice scarf Protein Greninja. And yeah, options here like U-turn, Gunshot, Ice Beam. U-turn is just the safest option. Um, you get momentum if Aim switches into um, Tangrowth. And yeah, I mean, if he switches into Torn, you would have to take Rocky Hammer. That would be a bit annoying. But I think the Tangrowth is like the mon that Aim is most likely going to go to. So uh, U-turn just seems like really risk-free here. And I think U-turn would probably also bring the Tangrowth in range where um, Heatran's Magma Storm probably kills it. And Aim doesn't have good switch-ins for Heatran at all. So this is if Tangrowth comes out there, yep. And do you U-turn? Yep, and that's definitely Protein. So it has to be Choice Scarf. U-turn isn't really used on anything. Well, sometimes it's used on Z-Move Gren. But we already know he's Z-Move Coco, so that's definitely not Z-Move Gren. So now Magma Storm probably kills from here, especially if the Tangrowth is like mixed defensive. So uh, he probably has to go Zygarde, which I think Zygarde can switch in one more time. I don't remember how healthy the Zygarde is, but I think it's 
60 or 70 at 60 or 70 so this is a opportunity to just go for magma storm for blark and uh, weaken the zygote a bit more it's at 73 so magma storm should be like 25 yup how did i know <laughs> i would yeah so extra chip damage and now hedron obviously is going to switch out into either gliscor or um tangrowth goes to the gliscor because he doesn't want to gl glare on the tangrowth and yeah, the Gliscor is most likely just going to defog. Aim goes back into his Grand. No that he's going to defog. And now Black's probably going to switch out here because he doesn't want to uh, risk giving the Greninja Ashram. So Aim is either going to Dark Pulse or Spike. Yep, Spike's up. Predicting a switch. And now um, the Torn is like really obvious here. Um, Black could knock off to get rid of the Rocky Helmet. Or he could also pull a double. Um, does pull a double into Coco, which covers the Torn. Okay. And now I assume he's going to Volt Switch or HP. Okay, he roots to keep the Coco healthy. And now he can Volt Switch uh, on the Tangrowth. Oh, if he doesn't want to... Nah, Volt Switch is fine here. There's no way Aim's going to go Zygarde. Because this Zygarde is def... I think Zygarde is in range of HPIs because it got chipped down now. So yeah, this is uh, a completely fine play. Just go into Scissor with the Volt Switch. Because at, at this point, it's pretty obvious that this Tangrowth doesn't have um, HP Fire. It's just Knock Off Earthquake. Uh, probably Giga Drain and HP Ice. So he just knocks off to chip down the heat drain a bit more. But he didn't heal he didn't have to he doesn't have to scissor at full and the spike is up, so that's cool for aim. Because the scissor can definitely be a big threat with the so the Gliscor is gonna come out as aim predicted and double out again. He off powers. I feel like that was a misplay for sure. Um now that the heat drain used up the Z move, Blark can afford to go Glisco on Heat Drain every turn pretty much. And now he can just defog. So he off and gets rid of the trend, okay. So aim predicted him to defog there, but even if, even if he defogged, um, if and if aim like attacked and did a good amount of damage to the Glisco, he would have been scared out the next turn anyways. Um, like he could have lava plume flash can or make my storm. I assume it's the lava plume because, like I said, it's a sample team. The team with the same heat run set is on sample teams. But yeah, now um, I think Tangle is gonna come out. So does aim predict that and go for dark pulse? Yep. So good play on aim. And now a potential play for Black is to just go into Tapu Coco because that covers Aim staying in and going for Dark Pulse again and you don't risk getting flinched. And it also covers Aim going into his Tornado. So I think Tapu Coco is the play here for Black because it covers all options. Uh, you get the Regenerator, you don't risk getting flinched and you cover Aim uh, going out into Tornadoes which would be um, his, his play that can switch into Tangrowth because you don't want to risk going more well here if you aim on a potential earthquake from the tangrowth uh, even though there's no way he's gonna earthquake you guys get what i'm trying to say you don't risk your mobile here you always either dark pulse or you go torn right and that torn is just the safest play and coco covers all options so this should go just go coco and most likely he can just volt switch again here right and aim is probably just gonna go back into his tangros uh, i think we just see the volt switch yep and he can go Goes in the scissor, yeah, okay. I wasn't sure how healthy the Glisco is. I was gonna say maybe go Gliska to get so you can roost here as aim goes in the Mawa. So finally Mawa is in. So this could be two sets. Um it could be the SD knock of Sucker Punch player of or it could be the all out attacking Mega Mawa that we have seen that has seen some usage in tournament plays. Um it's like player of fire thing, thunder punch, ice punch, right? So the thing is even if this has fire fang, I don't think aim is gonna go for it. Like Fire Fang, there's a heat run in the back. I don't think you are gonna click Fire Fang, that's just too obvious. Um hmm. Like Black doesn't have a safe play here because if he goes heat run on a Thunder Punch, he kinda gets destroyed. If he stays in on a Fire Fang, he's in a bad spot, or if he goes Glisco on an Ice Punch, he's also destroyed. But he does stay in. Um predicting aim to not go for Fire Fang if aim has Fire Fang, but he shows knockoff. Which makes me think he's probably the knockoff SD Sucker Punch player of set. So Black goes in the Glisco, um, knowing that this most likely doesn't have Ice Punch because that's not really used on knockoff. And I don't think this mobile is in range from Earthquake just yet. Like the Bullet Punch damage brought it close to where it might die from Earthquake, but I think it needs a little bit more chip because Glisco is actually kind of weak and Mega Mobile um, does have a okay, has okay bulk on the physical side. But I think I don't think Aim should ever stay in here. And risk um, this might be a roll or like just in general he shouldn't risk his mobile because mobile um, can pretty much destroy Blark because the scissor is paralyzed which means it's not a counter like it can get paralyzed and if the mobile SDs up it can probably beat the scissor later in the game so he should just switch out into like Torn or Tangrowth here because um, Blark might just want to click Earthquake because he doesn't really have great answers for the mobile with scissor being paralyzed and Heatran. Um, is already a little bit chipped and there's a spike up so Tangrowth does come out and I feel like 
If black, I don't know. Um, I don't think it, I don't know if there's a point in roosting here on the HP ice because I don't think you heal that much from doing that. Uh, so he might just. But I guess he could defog here and then roost the next turn if um, that doesn't do too much. Because like obviously, if Gliscor roosts, it loses the flying type, which means HP ice is only um, super effective and not four times super effective. Okay, but it does roost. Does that heal anything? Okay, okay, that that heals a little bit because of yeah, the poison heal. So he's at 83 now, and he could potentially defog. Yep, and I assume Amos is just gonna HP ice again, and now um. Now aim is definitely gonna Giga Drain here in case Blarg is gonna roost because Giga Drain I think does like 60% to Gliss score after it loses the flying type and it only has the ground type if you Giga Drain on the roost which makes it super effective. So I don't know if, Bla if there's a point in roosting here because Giga Drain kind of does the same that roost will heal so it does just U-turn knowing that he probably cannot heal much. It wasn't a scissor playing it safe knowing that the Giga Drain is gonna come out and he can either roost here or he can uh, throw out another knockoff which would either chip down yeah which uh, the hedron is dead yeah which would chip down the the torn yeah i don't think uh hedron should have been sacked off earlier by aim that definitely was um a slight misplay but i think he's still in an okay position so he u-turns knowing that the scissor is not gonna stay in because it's at half and it can obviously get paralyzed or confused from hurricane so tangros do you click uh i think you just click earthquake here because it your best way of hitting the scissor and you don't want to let the heatron in and i don't think black is going to go into glisco here on a potential hp ice and just throw the glisco out that just seems like a just like a misplay uh so scissor is like the safest option he could also go to his own tangros i guess like the scissor is paralyzed but tangros earthquake does like 15 only i think so he should be fine to go scissor he goes tangros that works out for him uh, if you break that earthquake i guess props to him now um I assume Amy's just gonna go into his Torn. A uh, black doubles into Scissor, which would have covered a knockoff, but it didn't cover the Torn. And now Aim just throws over Hurricane in case. Yeah, because the Scissor is a big threat since he lost his Heatran. And he does get the confusion. And yeah. Basically, he didn't want to risk Black staying in and killing his Torn there, so he just played it safe and went Tangros. Double to Heatran was a safe mid ground. Um, covered the Torn staying in and covered the Tangros. But the Tangros is at full. The Tangles is at full, which means this actually doesn't work out that well for the for Blark here. Because Magma Storm doesn't kill from full and Earthquake probably kills the Hedron from 90. It might be a roll, but I don't know if he wants to risk this. Um, he could go Glisco here and predicting an Earthquake, but that's a risky play. Uh, I would probably just... I would probably just go into Mega Scissor here. Play it safe. Uh, like, if you go Glisco here on the Earthquake, that's obviously a hard play, but it's just not worth it, I feel. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, you, I think you go scissor here, because I don't think you can kill the tang, because it's just a leftovers trend, not a z-move trend. You know that the um, z-move is on the coco. It's most likely z wild charge, right? Because the volt switch did absolutely nothing, so it's like barely special attack invested, or if it's even special attack invested coco. I didn't calculate yet the damage versus max HP torn. Rocky Hammer torn runs max HP, but yeah, I feel like aim is either gonna earthquake here or switch out into Zyg. Now Zygarde is low, I feel like Aim might have to go for Earthquake here because he's like his Hedron checks are low so he doesn't really have a switch in and Tangrus can live a Magma Storm and get Regenerator back so if he can cut, he's gonna run the cut most likely his timer is like getting low and if this is a roll in his favor or if it always kills I feel like he can just click Earthquake here another option would be potentially um, going Zygarde and that might be a sack at that point because the dagger is pretty low. I don't know if it will live another Magma Storm per secondary effect. But yeah, Black goes in a tank. Yeah, either tank or scissor, both are fine options. And he knocks off the Rocky. Oh, it was already knocked the helmet. My bad. The scissor knocked it off early in the game. Yeah, yeah. So now, um, I don't remember how healthy the Tapu Coco is if it can still switch into his into Hurricane. If the Coco is still healthy enough, then he can go to it. Otherwise, he has to go Heatran. And yeah, he does go Heatran because I think the Coco is chipped a bit and aim goes for U turn gets the Zygarde in. But I assume we're just gonna see the um, the Tangros come out here because the Scissors, if I recall correctly, at around half and doesn't want to switch in. Even if it can, I don't know if it can live to, but even if it can live to, it risks getting paralyzed. So Tangros is like the best check he has because his Glisco is also low. Um, he, like obviously he needs to like try to get a rooster with the Glisco. That would be quite important for him because that's a good uh, way to um, check Zygarde more while. Like pretty much beats a lot of a good amount of aims team and also 
can help keep spikes off. He already got rid of the rocker, but the spiker is still around. Uh, but I feel like Tangrus is definitely the play to make here. You don't want to risk too, too much. Like, he's, he's like in a fine position by playing safe. That's, that's how I see it. He doesn't have to risk anything. He can just go into Tangrus here. The, the worst aim can do is glare the Tangrus. This is this is pretty much um, thousand arrows glare, outrage, and the last move e speed or iron tail. I'm not hundred percent sure about the last move, but yeah, this just go tangles aim flows of a thousand arrows, and yeah, the obvious play here is just going back into tornadoes. Um, so he could just, he could HPI here, or he could double back into Coco. Double back into Coco might be a good play because it covers the torn and covers the more while, but he just just HPI is okay. Like double into. Coco would have also covered the Mawile because it um, can probably bob the Mawile with a Z-move and threaten it out. Okay, so this time... Oh, he could have potentially roosted if he doubled the Coco in on the Torn also. This time he goes uh, for the knockoff, anticipating him to go into Heatran again. It's the same play he made earlier already, and earlier aim u turned But this time he knock off, knocks off, catching the Heatran, getting rid of the lefties, which is really good for him, um, chipping down the Heatran. Like, I really don't know, remember how else the Coco is. I think it's at 60%. So, he, he really doesn't want to risk going Coco and getting... Parrot, or he is uh, confused, not paralyzed, my bad. Or he is lower than I thought he was. I um, can't really remember 100%. But we could see um, a Magma Storm here because AIM really doesn't have any Magma Storm switches. Oh, Gren is still at full. I forgot that Gren is still at full. But yeah, Gren is going to be at lower than half, less than half. That does a lot. 41 plus secondary effect, and Greninja is pretty frail. So now um, it's either Spike or Hydro Pump here. I assume we see a Spike. He pumps, okay, so he pumps there just in case uh, Black wants to stay in. I'm surprised he went into Greninja instead of going Tangrowth. I feel like Tangrowth would have been completely fine. So I think, um, yeah, Yuten is super free there because the, the Torn already got knocked off, so he doesn't have to fear taking Helmet. Oh, the, the, the Coco was at 43, not at 60, so now he can roost. Okay, so then it makes more sense that he didn't want to go Coco on a Torn anymore. Uh, if he was at 43, not at 61. I thought he was at 61 for some reason. But yeah, he can vault out here into his scissor. And then try to get off a roost. Um, like, Tangros can't really beat the scissor. It would have to get multiple paras to beat the scissor down. So it's unlikely that that happens, right? So scissor is definitely a fine option here. Um, Aim is either going to Earthquake or um, he could also throw off HPIs in case Black wants to go Gliscor. But Gliscor is just unnecessary risky. Um, I think you always just go into your Scizor. Like, we had the same scenario earlier already, I think, where it was... That he could potentially go Gliscor, but it's just not worth the risk. So he should just go Scizor. That's how I see it, at least. He does go Gliscor breaking Earthquake. Aim catches that goes for HPS and the Glissor goes down. That's that's big for Aim. And now Scissor comes out and Scissor is going to roost here. But that, yeah, that's definitely good for Aim getting rid of that Glissor. Mega Mobile looking pretty scary. Um, yeah, Torn can just throw off Hurricanes here. And I feel like Bark has to go into his Coco because this scissor um if it doesn't get hexed yes it can potentially beat the torn but it's just not worth it as he does go for sd and now plus two bullet punch doesn't kill so he has to try to roost but he does he does get confused and he hits himself and this scissor is dead and this game is looking pretty in aim's favor all of a sudden um i was gonna say pretty over like it looks in aim's favor all of a sudden i feel like black was in a better position for earlier like earlier before um, before he sacked his uh, Glisco, I feel like he was in a better position. So definitely a slight misplay. Like, you have a paralyzed Scizor, you SD on a Tornade, right? Like, obviously you can you can either get paralyzed or you can get confused by Hurricane. So it's just not worth it when you have a Coco in the back that was healthy. Uh, so he definitely should have gone to Coco. Um, yeah, this was like kind of the same turns happened over and over again, got repetitive. Maybe he just wanted to go... F he was just wanted to go for a game with his Scizor. And if he didn't get Parahex, his Scizor... Could have just won, but yeah, like Aim still also had Specs Greninja with Pump in the back that could have potentially forced it out. But he could have at least gotten a kill with the Gren. But yeah, now he has. I didn't narrate all these turns, but you guys can see them yourself. He was able to get the Heatran in on the Tangros. Did he double it in? And then. Or was it on the Torn? He was able to get it in on the Torn. I didn't follow the last few turns. You guys can see them yourself. And he was able to kill. Uh, the Zygarde with the Magma Storm. And now this is a big turn. Oof. 
He throws out the Heatran, predicting aim to go for spikes. And aim goes for Hydro Pump. Um, playing it safe and also... Yeah, like, reading his opponent well there, um, anticipating him to stay in, predicting the spike. Uh, but I just feel like, yeah, the reason why I understand that play somewhat from Blark is because if he gets, if aim gets up a spike there, as that I've been crit sucks. That I've been crit mattered because it's max HP torn. But now aim can go into Mawile, knowing that the Greninja is locked into Ice Beam, and he can just click player off and claim a kill here. As long as he connects. Um, Coco or Greninja both die and Tangos gets 2 hit KO'd. So this is looking pretty in Aim's favor. Um, I was trying to explain the other turn earlier. But yeah, you just click player here and you get your kill as long as you connect and I think this game is over. So yeah, he, he stayed in with Heatran predicting a spike because his, his Gliss score is dead. Which means he cannot defog the spike. So Aim might have... Black might have thought Aim wants to get up a spike because he cannot get rid of the spike anymore. You guys get what I'm trying to say. And he makes a risky play in stays in and aim reads that. I probably would have gone into Tangrowth, but I, I can somewhat understand where he's coming from. Uh, yeah, I don't think that was... Like, that... I don't want to, like, talk down on him for that turn. I just would have played different... Um, not throwing the Glisco out, and I also would have um, not SD'd with the Scissor on a on a paralyzed as aim just player us there he switches from tangos into coco um predicting aim to probably go for knockoff because that coco would have lifted that uh, easily with z move and then could have forced out the mall with z move so i guess he just banked on aim miss on aim's misplay there at that point but yeah this game is over and he forfeits yeah pretty much sd scissor could have potentially won him the game I don't know if it would have won because I was paralyzed anyway, but setting up on a turn that can confuse you when you're paralyzed, I think that's not the optimal play to make. But there was also some hex versus him early in the game, and they were like the turns were kind of repetitive. So I understand somewhat um, why you would get annoyed and you can't like play to your best. Um, what was there as well? What was the other misplay? Well, going into Gliscor, catch trying to catch the HPIs. I also suggested a play at one turn, I think. That, that Yeah, that's definitely just too risky. But I don't know wh what he wanted to heal the Gliscor up on. Like, I guess he could have tried to double the Gliscor in on something to heal it. Um, but yeah... That, I don't know, I feel like the Hex kind of tilted him. I, I don't want to, like, talk down too much. It was still a cool to watch game. Um, Gret's aim for the win. Oh, that English, I feel like my English is awful at the moment. But yeah, now it's 2-3. West is up 2-3-2 still. And next game is Zomok. Uh, I forgot the opponent. Gonna record that, bring it to you guys later. And peace out, friends.